Day one, submerged atoll, Western Pacific. It's great to be diving again. I'm anxious to find our sperm whale family and look in on our mother to be. I'm in and okay. Hey, Mariah, how's the new suit? Nice. A bit itchy, but I've had worse. How are you breathing? Breathing easy. This rebreather is amazing. Feels like I'm free diving. A genuine compliment. <laughs> Should have caught that on the live stream. Uh, give me a few minutes. I want it to be amazing, and I'm still getting used to this AR visor. Done. How many scans before the AI is trained on a creature? It will vary. There are many factors that affect the confidence level of a match. So you don't know. Got it. Now, point me to the buoy so I can try the hydrophones. I want to make sure all the tech is working before we stream. Arena, how you feeling? Haven't thrown up today. Well, it's still early. You gonna be okay with the live stream? Hmm. I may let you do most of the talking. Once you reach the buoy, you can triangulate the sound of any animal. Clever. Thank you. That's close enough. You can use your dive watch to control the boy from there. Refresh me on the controls. Move the target in circle around. Each sound will get louder when you are close to locking in on an animal's location. If you're okay, I'm going to start the live stream. Let's roll. Welcome to the OceanX live stream. I'm Dr. Mirai Soto, and I'll be your eyes and ears on this expedition. I'm joined today by two colleagues. Hello, I'm Andre. Hello, everyone. I'm Irina. Folks, just because I'm swimming with dolphins. My grandmother always warned me that although they're cute, they can also be pranksters, and today, also very noisy. Can your AI parse through all those sounds? Not using this scanner. But I do have a new drone design that should be better at isolating the source of the sounds. Done. And maybe next time I can weigh in before on the number that we need to scan? <laughs> As I mentioned, the confidence model is complex. You just want to find the whales. Guilty. That looks to be a sperm whale. I think I saw this bull from the sub. I wonder how far he's traveled. Once we have a reliable ID on him, I'll see if anyone has tracked him before. Nice. Looks like we've got our first singer. Fantastic. Hopefully on your next dive, you can record his song to compare with other humpbacks in the area. Fun fact. In addition to being an engineering whiz, Andre is quite the musician. Are you still writing music? Not for years. Dry spell? More like raising teenagers. Hey, Mariah. I'm seeing alerts on the South Buoy if you want to pull them down. Okay. Let's see what mysteries this buoy unlocks. What is that sound? Did I break something? Uh, I've deployed acoustic modems to transmit from other sensors. For those of you who have no idea what he's talking about, he means we use sound to transmit data. 
so we can have Wi-Fi in the ocean. Impressive. What kind of bandwidth do we get? Eh, like 1990s dial-up. Fun alert. Looks like some young dolphins are having a play date. Hey guys, can I take a turn? Well, you don't see that every day. At least I don't. Frankly, neither do I. to be outside the research zone. One of the waypoints went down. Do you think that's related? Yeah, probably. Red light must mean a serious alert. Yeah, dead battery. Whoa, octopus. I think it went in that cave. I'd like to go in that cave. Let's be real. There's no way I'm not squeezing through here to follow that octopus. We'll definitely want to practice diver rescue at some point. Well, maybe. Mirai, please be careful. Hey there. Sorry to spoil your hiding place. Chemical emittance trigger this whole area. Because of me. Not because of me, but because I configured the sensors to detect stress in the coral population. Okay, let's find out what's causing that stress. Mirai, please collect biosamples from any of the distressed corals. Happy to oblige. For those watching, these sensors help us understand what leads to resiliency in coral so we can help breed it into other species. On my way. I'm hoping to reconnect with the sperm whale family whom I have been tracking for years. I'm excited to check in on our mother-to-be. Clearly has a fondness for these creatures. 
She's fallen silent. Right. Let me finish scanning them all. I still don't see our pregnant mother. Done. Good. Everything all right? I am now. Look. Our mommy whale has delivered. Everyone say hi to her beautiful one-ton baby girl. Is she okay? Right. Shh. She's nursing. I just wish all of you could be here for one second. <sighs> Amazing. That is the end of our stream. Like, share, comment. Remember, we need you. All of us down here. I'm in and okay. Looking good, Mirai. The Manta drone is ready for its first zoom scan. Now I get to see why you talk about it so much. Only the best science for you. Boy ahead. Bet we'll find some whale vocalizations. Well, I'm not taking that bet. You always find whales. You'd find them in your bathtub. What kind of bathroom do you think I have? <coughs> this is a lot of whales. It's staggering the number migrating through in this area. Hey, don't jinx it. It's our sperm whale family again. drone will match speed with the creature so you can concentrate on steering it around to find the places you need to focus. All right, baby. We won't forget you now. Andre, can the zoom scan tell how old the baby is? Not with any certainty. Why? Just wondering if she's old enough to hunt by herself. I wondered. She still seems pretty young to go that deep. Will she be okay alone while her mother dies? She should follow the pod. Her aunties will babysit while the mother hunts. Wish I had them when my daughter was born. Mm, takes a pod. Mirai, why is the baby girl so important to her study? I'm hoping to follow the baby for years to learn from her as she learns from her family. And hopefully to watch her eventually become a mother herself. Here we are. The whale we're designating Humpback M1. Oh, so catchy. see it again. Each humpback's fluke is unique. So M1 it is. Andre Software is helping me understand the structure of their songs so we can try singing back. More like playing back. I'll synthesize a song that mirrors one from another region to see how these whales react. Because Andre doesn't like my singing. It's more the songs you sing actually.
Approaching Humpback M2. Looks like he's on a date. How can you tell? It's like they're dancing to his song. What do you think, Andre? Do you think he can make it as a solo artist? Well, not without more original material. What? Males from the same region sing nearly identical songs with just enough variation to stand out. Yeah, just like most pop singers. Such a snob.